Okay, uh, next we continue for covalent bond. There are several types of covalent bond, uh, such as single bond, double bond, and triple bond. Okay, for single bond representing by uh, one line. Okay, actually there are two electron in one um, bond here. So each electron share uh, from uh, atom. Okay, for double bond there are two lines representing two lines. And triple bond, they are represented by three uh, lines. Okay. So, uh, remember for each line, there are two electrons. One electron share from uh, each atom. Okay. For the uh, strength of the bond, triple bond has higher uh, strength. Okay. More uh, stronger compared to double bond. And then double bond more stronger than single bond okay so this is because for triple bond is a um, high energy need to break the bond compared to a double bond okay for the uh, for single bond okay uh, slightly low energy to break the bond compared to double and triple bond Okay, for electron pairs in covalent bond, there are two types. Okay. For bonding pair, okay, bonding pair means um, okay, bonding pair means that electron pair have been shared by the atom. Okay, so uh, for example. Ammonia here, NH3, there are three bonding pair. Okay. okay, for H2O, two bonding pair. For HF molecule, hydrogen fluoride, one bonding pair. Alright, for lone pair, means that, for lone pair, means that electron, Electron pair that are not uh, share with another atom. Okay, so lone pair is not involved in a covalent bonding. Okay, so not uh, share by um, another atom. So for example, uh, in NH3, there's a one lone pair. Okay, for H2O, there are two lone pair at the uh, central atom here. Okay, for HF, there are three lone pair on fluorine atom. Alright, so for lone pair means that a pair of uh, valence electron. Same for this one, bonding pair, a pair electron that are being shared okay, by two atoms. Okay, properties of ionic and covalent compound. For a, uh, ionic compound, uh, can, uh, you can see here for the shape, it exists as solid, okay? But for covalent uh, compound, it exists as solid, liquid or gas, okay? For ionic compound, it has high melting and boiling point, okay? For covalent, low melting and boiling point, okay? This is because in ionic compound, it uh, has high melting and boiling point because uh, high energy to uh, break the bonding. Okay, for ionic compound, the, in terms of electricity, it can conduct electricity, but covalent compound cannot conduct electricity. Okay, solubility in water for ionic compound soluble uh, in water for covalent compound insoluble in water. But for ionic compound insoluble in organic solvent. Okay, and for covalent compound is by vessel. Uh, Okay, next we go for the next subtopic, which is uh, how to draw Lewis structure. Okay, Lewis structure. Um, how to draw Lewis structure? It's actually, uh, represent the position of elect electron pair around the uh, central atom of molecule. So, uh, from Lewis structure, you can see the bond pairs and lone pair. Okay, for um one bonding pair 
Okay, representing for line. Okay, means there are two bonding electron. Okay, so one electron are shared from hydrogen, for example, and another electron shared from chlorine. For lone pairs, okay, so our science, uh, one lone pair has two electron, two non-bonding electron. Okay, to draw Lewis structure, example, ammonia and H3. So, first step is calculate the valence electron, okay, for nitrogen, there are 5 valence electron, hydrogen 1 valence electron times 3, so altogether is 8 uh, valence electron. And then step number 2, arrange the atom symmetry. So, central atom must be electropositive atom, okay, so hydrogen cannot be as central. So, it be as a um, surrounded atom. Okay. So, next, um, just put the nitrogen as central atom and surrounded by hydrogen. Okay. So, since uh, the valence electron is 8, okay. So, look at the uh, bonding pairs here. So, there are 3 bonding pair times uh, electron so 6 okay so the left is 2 uh, non-bonding electron so place uh, for nitrogen okay so actually the um, bonding pass here is a uh, sharing electron one electron from nitrogen one electron from hydrogen okay and then same with uh, this two hydrogen atom okay nitrogen left one lone pair okay actually nitrogen five valence electron three electron share for each uh, hydrogen atom and left uh, two non-bonding electron okay Next example is boron trifluoride. So, first calculate the valence electron. Boron 3 valence electron from group number 3 for boron. Fluorine from group 17. So, 7 valence electron times 3. So, all together is 24. Okay. So, between boron and fluorine, Okay, across a period in periodic table, electronegativity increase. So, boron uh, is more electropositive atom compared to fluorine. So, boron as central atom and the surrounded atom is fluorine. Okay, so forming a uh, bonding uh, with fluorine. And then from 24 electron, since there are three bonding uh, bonding pair here times two electron, so 24 minus 6 is 18 non-bonding electron. Okay, to distribute the surrounding atom. Since boron has three balanced electrons, so there are no known pair on boron. And uh, for fluorine, okay, it has Three lone pair for each atom fluorine. Okay, equal to 18 non bonding electron. Okay, so actually uh, fluorine has seven valence electron, one shared electron between boron and left uh, six uh, non bonding electron for three lone pair. Okay, next, for example, an ion hydroxide. Okay, so oxygen 6 valence electron, hydrogen 1 valence electron. So the charge of minus is uh, you must add plus uh, 1 electron. If cat ion uh, reduced by 1, okay, so total is 
6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8 electron. Okay. So, arrange the atom symmetry since there are only 2 atoms. So, just uh, draw oxygen bond with hydrogen. Okay. So, from 8 electron minus 2 electron. So, left 6 non-bonding electron. So, 6 uh, non-bonding electron. Okay, draw the electron here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, there are 3 lone pair here. Okay, don't forget to put the bracket with charge minus. Okay. So, for hydrogen, actually share one electron only because hydrogen has one valence electron. Oxygen, share one electron. Uh, that's why forming uh, bonding here. Okay, and six uh, valence electron uh, with uh, addition of uh, one electron here. Okay. So, remember for carbon, carbon um, uh, can form for bonding, okay? but there are no lone pair on uh, its atom. So, either it can form single, double or triple bond. Okay? For nitrogen, it can form three bonding pair with another atom, either single, double or triple bond and left one lone pair. Okay? Since uh, nitrogen has five valence electron, okay, for carbon have four valence electron. For oxygen, okay, it can form two bonding pairs and left uh, two lone pair, so it can form single or double bond. Okay, for fluorine, chlorine, bromine can form one bond bonding pair and uh, three lone pair. Okay, hydrogen only form one bond.